Hey guys, it's that time again. Welcome back to the Pixelmon Craft Guide. Today we're just going to show you how to make three simple Pixelmon items. We're going to show you how to make old running boots, along with new running boots, and a old rod. Now, first thing I want to say is, with the old rod, you can only make the old rod. You cannot make the new rod or the super rod. I believe they are boss drops only. There is no way of upgrading an old rod to a super rod or a new rod or super rod so yeah and then I will take you through the specifications of the running boots I suppose so what you need for this that's the recipe for the old running boots if you just came here for the recipes that's the old running boots that's the new running boots and that's the the old rod so yeah you need at least four iron ingots two feathers and a pair of leather boots to make the old running boots. You put the leather boots at the top, two feather on the bottom right and left corners, and then fill the rest of the sides in with iron. This will give you old running boots. And when you put old running boots on, it'll give you a 50% speed boost until they have fully depleted. So if I run around in these for a while, they don't offer much armor, but <clears throat> they are just designed to give you a 50% speed boost which is sweet if you're traveling around and yeah that's what they do but we are just going to use these because to make new running boots you need to have old running boots and two diamond two iron and two feathers again so we'll take those really quick and it's basically the same recipe except instead of leather boots you're putting old running boots put your two feathers there two iron and you're swapping the upper left and right iron ingots for the old running boots recipe for diamonds. This will give you new running boots and you put these on and these will give you a 75% speed boost but the, the steps have lower durability and they will turn back into old running boots when they have depleted. So you can run around in these for a while once they have depleted they will turn into old running boots in which case you've got a get these six, well, three items, but six items in order to get them back up to new running boots. Okay, we'll quickly take those off because we don't want to have that around. Uh, am I still running at a 75? No, okay. <laughs> and this is the old rod recipe. Three sticks, one string, one pokeball. Am I still running boots? No, okay. So, Sticks in a diagonal line, string coming from the top of the stick, and a pokeball at the bottom gives you an old rod. And then obviously you can make sure I've still got a 75% speed boost, even though I've took the boots off. I feel really fast at the moment. But yeah, you can. I think I've glitched or something. I've still got the speed. Uh, I don't know if you've got to aim it at a specific Pokemon, so you don't have to like go out and get it. Prish. Oh. See, this is my first time actually using the rod, so all in all, I just assumed that you aimed it at the Pokemon that you can see to save you actually having to go down and. But apparently not. Or do they get attracted to it? I mean. Or is it just like fishing? I've got to wait for the. the bobber to go down? There we go. Yeah, so I pulled it, tentacle appeared, get straight into a battle with it, and yes, you get the picture. What you have to do is simply cast, wait for the bobber to go down, and you will get a Pokemon. I don't think there was a tentacool in the water. There was a tentacruel by the bobber. I think it just randomly spawns a Pokemon into battle. Hello there, Kingler. But yeah, that is how you make old running boots, new running boots, and a old rod. Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It's a great... It, it means a lot to us when you subscribe. And stay awesome.